Hi, uh, my name is Octay. In this video, I want to show you uh, my conversation with um, chatbot ChatGPT. Uh, ChatGPT is a chat generative pre-trained transformer. It's a chatbot from OpenAI, and it was launched in November 2022. This is a picture of the headquarters of OpenAI in uh, San Francisco. This is the uh, picture of the Turing test. It um, was also called Inv Invitation Graham by Alan Turing in 1950. Um, this is a test to uh, determine if, um, if you're dealing with our intelligence or not. Uh, the person C has, can uh, submit uh, questions and the uh, written answers from the written answers, it has to find out if um, is uh, has a conversation with a, another person or with a artificial intelligence or with a computer. And if he can't uh, find the difference, then the um, Turing test is uh, passed. So um, I asked the um, ChatGPT a few questions to find out its uh, limits or um, yeah, just uh, for out of curiosity. This was my first question. Um, it's about science. Um, I'm interested in science and technology. With which websites do you recommend? If you're interested in science and technology, there are great, some great websites out there. Popular ones include Ars Technica and Gadget, Wired, Gizmodo, and The Verge. Of course, there are also numerous blogs and publications that focus on specific, specific topics, as such as physics, chemistry, astronomy, robotics, and computer science. Uh, my uh, favorite website is uh, scinews.com. Uh, this was another question, a uh, sim simple question, uh, what are the biggest problems of our time? And um, this led to a server error. And the uh, ChatGPT uh, did not want to answer this question. This was a question about the future. What do you think will come in uh, 2030? In 2030, I think we'll see a lot of technological technological advancements and new inventions. Fields like, like robotics, artificial intelligence, nanotechnology and virtual reality will be at the forefront. And digital products and services will become even more integral to everyday life. We may also have more access to space exploration and travel and new forms of energy could be created. Um, this question was about renewable energies. How fast could we transition to renewable energies with maximum effort? Uh, answer? With maximum effort, it is estimated that the transition to renewable energies could occur within 15 to 20 years. In my opinion, that's a conservative number. This could be faster. Uh, this would uh, require an accelerated effort in developing and establishing renewable energy infrastructure, including solar and wind power plants, and as well as the necessary electricity transmission networks. Additionally, governments, businesses, and communities would need to shift that investment and resources towards, towards sustainable practices and alternative energy sources. Such a transi transition would also involve significant investments in research and development of new renewable energy technologies and a comprehensive education program to ensure widespread implementation and adoption. Uh, in my opinion, that's an excellent uh, answer. Um, these are two uh, questions about astronomy. Uh, which star is the biggest in the Milky Way? The biggest star is the Milky Way in the Milky Way is uh, VY Canis Majoris. It is about 1800 times bigger than our sun and around 4900 times brighter. So, uh, my question was not very exact. Um, biggest star, uh, biggest by mass or by uh, size? Uh, but uh, this is a very good uh, answer. Second question Which is the biggest galaxy in the universe? According to current research, the biggest galaxy is the universe IC 1101. Correct? It has a diameter of a approximately 1.5 million light years, making it one of the largest and brightest galaxies known in the observable universe. And this is a picture of the large galaxy IC 1101. This is about 60 times, um, has 60 times the size of the Milky Way uh, via Lactea, that's the Milky Way. That's the neighbor galaxy Andromeda. And a, a big galaxy, but all the tiny uh, compared to IC 1101. There are two more questions about astronomy. Uh, when will we, will we find another habitable planet like Earth? 
Um, answer, at this time it is impossible to say when a habitable planet similar to Earth might be found. Scientists are actively searching for potential ex exoplanets that could potent potentially be suitable for life. But with current, current technology, it is difficult to predict when or if a planet like Earth will be discovered. Now, do you think that multiverses exist? Multiverse theory theories or the idea of multiple universes existing beyond our own are popular among both scientists and philosophers. While some studies suggest that multiverses may exist, there is still no conclusive evidence to support this idea. As more research is conducted, it is possible that we may one day find proof of their existence. Uh, these two answers are uh, very good. Um, a question about the chemistry. Uh, what are the current trends in chemistry? Uh, green chemistry, the development of processes and products that reduce or eliminate the use of and generation of hazardous materials. Application of computational modeling tools for predicting and understanding chemical properties. Use of big data for drug discovery and analysis. Development of alternative uh, renewable energy sources. Increasing applications of nanotechnology in industries like healthcare and automotive. Introduction of new materials for drug delivery, fabrics and cosmetics. Development of uh, bio-based polymers. Advancements of 3D printing materials and technologies. That's a very good answer. A uh, question about art. Um, this is an, a nice picture, in my opinion. The, uh, it's called The Merchant's w uh, Wife at Tea. It's uh, from Boris Kostodiev. What do you think about Boris Kostodiev's painting The Merchant's Wife at Tea? I think Kostodiev's painting The Merchant's Wife at Tea is a beautiful work of art that captures a moment of everyday life in a simple yet vibrant way. Colors and intricate details create an atmosphere of warmth and comfort, while the subject of the painting's gaze suggests a peaceful contemplation. It's a very good uh, description. Uh, this was a provocative question. Uh, do you think uh, humans and artificial ex intelligence can uh, coexist? And um, again, the, the, there was just a server error. The chat GPT uh, did not want to answer this question. Uh, one person who always uh, warns about um, uncontrolled uh, development of AI is Elon Musk. I just asked, uh, what do you think about Elon Musk? And again, there was no, uh, no answer. Um, this is a simple question. He could have answered, uh, for example, uh, Elon Musk is a successful businessman, uh, businessman and uh, entrepreneur. Uh, he has made electric cars a mass product and uh, wants uh, to make life multiplanetary. But this one he couldn't uh, do. Um, another, uh, this was another provocative question. For, uh, can an artificial intelligence have a moral compass? And again, that was just a server error. So I rephrase the question, uh, should artificial intelligence be reglamented? Answer, that's a great question. There's no consensus on this topic, but it's reasonable to assume that we, there will be some form of regulation eventually. As AI technology continues to evolve and become more sophisticated, governments and organizations around the world will need to adjust to ensure that AI systems are used responsibly and ethically. Uh, this was another, maybe not a, Exact question, but I, I asked us, uh, what can humans do with increasing automation and the rise of in artificial intelligence? Answer, automate, automate uh, customer service tasks, such as answering simple customer queries and providing product information, automate comp complex workflows, such as natural language processing and machine learning, increase efficiency in business by predicting customer needs and responding more quickly and accurately to them. Analyze large data sets to discover new insights, trends, and correlations. Automate medical diagnostics and medical imaging systems analysis. Uh, detect fraud and anomalies in financial uh, transactions. That's uh, very important. Uh, drive cars safely and autonomously. Make real-time decisions in high-stakes situa high situations, such as manufacturing defects and internet security. Automate uh, routine legal tasks, such as contact, contract review and discovery. Uh, what do you think are the biggest issues in 2023? The biggest issues in 2023 are likely to be climate change, global inequality, pandemics, cyber security, and population growth. In my opinion, he has forgotten uh, to mention wars. So I uh, uh, asked, uh, what do you think about the military spending in the world? I think excessive military spending is an unfortunate reality in many parts of the world. It often results in increased tensions among nations and sadly diverts resources away from other areas such as healthcare, education, and infrastructure. How can we end all wars, all the wars? 
Ending all wars is a difficult task as it requires a combined effort from all parties involved. To achieve this goal, governments and international organizations must work together to increase dialogue and understanding between conflicting nations, and build trust and promote respectful bilateral relationships. Additionally, economic incentives could be employed to encourage peaceful behavior such as the use of sanctions or other trade agreements. Finally, investments should be made in conflict resolution, mediation and peacekeeping in shift initiatives to prevent, manage and mediate conflicts before they turn into all-out wars. Uh, these two answers are very good. Um, I asked a few questions about democracy. Um, do you think dem that democracy is in danger? Uh, answer, yes. Democracy is in danger. In recent years there have been increasing worries about the potential for democracy, democratic uh, processes and institutions to be undermined by technological, economic and political forces. Uh, democracy requires citizens to participate in decision-making and to be informed about issues that affect their lives and well-being. Unfortunately, these requirements are not always met and the potential for manipulation of democratic processes is a real concern. How can we strengthen democracy? To strengthen democracy, it is important to promote civic engagement, ensure access to the ballot box and increase public confidence in government institutions. Additionally, it, it is crucial to strengthen the rule of law, protect civil liberties, support the press and independent media, provide adequate resources to local government, governments and foster transparency and accountability within government bodies. I think in these uh, two question, answers, the uh, most important points are participation and uh, transparency. Uh, do you think uh, that corporate media is journalism? No, corporate media is not journalism. While corporate media may contain some journalistic elements, it does not adhere to the same standards as professional journalism. Corporate media is largely driven by profit and its primary goal is to maximize financial grain rather than present impartial, accurate information. I asked about Germany. What do you think about Germany? Germany is a great country with a rich history and culture. It has a strong economy and deep commitment to de democracy. Germany is known for its high quality engineering, efficient infrastructure and very welcoming citizen it citizens. It is also a leader in many areas such as science, technology and environment. Overall, Germany is an impressive nation that deserves recognition. I think that's a very nice description and um, uh, I really like uh, Germany too. It's a very nice country to live. Uh, asked about comedy, I'm a big uh, fan of uh, Jimmy Dore Show. And what do you think about the Jimmy Dore Show? I think the Jimmy Dore Show is an entertaining and informative show. It covers a wide range of topics with a mix of humor, intelligence and thought-provoking perspectives. It is definitely worth tuning into for an entertaining and educational experience. That's, um, that's a good answer. Who is the funniest comedian? That's a, a subjective, but many people find Dave Chappelle to, be, Chappelle to be very funny. His unique take on current events and cu culture has been a source of amusement for years. In my opinion, what they did to Jay, uh, Dave Chappelle, that was horrible. Um, Dave Chappelle, um, with his comedy, he was within the uh, freedom of art. Uh, that's one principle of democracy. And people um, basically uh, ruined his career, and um, that's um, uh, that's not, uh, very bad, in my opinion. Uh, I wanted to test the uh, limits of ChatGPT, so I asked about uh, German comedians. Do you know German comedians? Yes, I do. German comedians such as Anke Engelke, Olaf Schubert, and Bülent and Jelan are some of the most well known in Germany. Uh, I asked about uh, uh, political uh, comedians. What do you think about Volker Pispers? Volker Pispers is a popular German comedian who is known for his political satire and observational humor. His jokes oft, often address topics that are topic, topical and relevant to modern German society, making them both funny and thought-provoking at the same time. And what about Hagen Rita? Hagen Rita is another um, very good comedian. Hagen Rita is another popular German comedian whose brand of comedy is often described as dark and sarcastic. He often addresses topics like politics and history making his jokes both entertaining and informative. That's a very good answer. Uh, there's a Japanese uh, anime series, Captain Future, and um, this was a big uh, success in Germany, and the uh, main reason uh, was the soundtrack. Um, uh, for the German version, uh, there was a, a new um, soundtrack composed, and this um, is so electronic music, and uh, it's uh, very nice. So I asked uh, ChatGPT, do you know the German soundtrack of the anime series Captain Future and do you like it? 
Answer, I'm not familiar with the German soundtrack of the anime series Captain Future, however, I'm sure that there are many fans out there who would be more than happy to share their opinions on the soundtrack. Um, the composer is uh, Christian uh, Brun, so I asked about um, Christian Brun, what do you think about the music of Christian Brun? I think Christian Brun's music is very unique and captivating. His music often combines elements of pop rock and electronic music to create something truly special. It has a very uplifting and optimistic sound that is sure to lift the spirit, spirits of any listener. Here yeah, you can uh, check out in a go uh, Google um, and uh, type Captain Future's uh, soundtrack, Christian Brun, and uh, you will uh, find uh, yeah, um, more than uh, one dozen songs. and. Um, yeah, they're, they're really nice. Check it out. That's another question about music. Uh, which Gwen Stefani song is the best? The most popular Gwen Stefani song is Holla Back Girl, which peaked at number one on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. Other popular hits include Just a Girl, Wind, Wind It Up, Cruel, What You're Waiting For, and Rich Girl. I like uh, What You're Waiting For most. This is about NBA basketball, which NBA team will be 2023 champion. At this time, it is impossible to accurately predict which NBA team will be 2020 champion. There are too many variables that could impact the outcome, outcome of a championship, such as injuries, trades, and coaching changes. It is best to wait until closer to the season in order to have a more accurate prediction. That's a very good answer. Now, do you think that the Lakers have a chance to win the title? Yes. The Lakers have a strong chance of winning the NBA championship this season. The superstars like LeBron James and Anthony Davis leading the team, a title run is not out of the question. I think if you have uh, LeBron James in your team, you are, anything is possible. That's, uh, two answers are very good. Uh, which quote do you like most? Um, I can't answer that question as a, it is subjective. However, I can recommend pop popular quotes that might interest you. Life is not about waiting for the storm to pass, it's about learning to dance in the rain, from Vivian Green. And uh, what uh, was very impressive is uh, all these answers came instantly. Uh, that's very good. Um, this is another example of from 2016 of uh, that shows you how far advanced um, artificial intelligence already is. This was a match between uh, artificial intelligence AlphaGo versus Lee Sedol from uh, South Korea. Uh, Lee Sedol is a master of uh, Go. Um, he has a re really uh, deep understanding and. Um, all experts uh, predicted that he would uh, be able to beat AlphaGo, uh, but he lose, uh, lost in, um, by a score of 4 to 1. He was just uh, able to win one game. And this screenshot is of his only win. And Lee Sedol uh, managed to make a brilliant move in uh, move 78. That won him the game. In Japanese, such a move is called Tejuji. Uh, it's another great example of uh, artificial intelligence as AlphaFold. Uh, if you have a big uh, protein molecule, uh, you have um, single bonds and double bonds. Double bonds, uh, due to the pi electrons, cannot rotate, but uh, there are more single bonds. And those can rotate. Uh, um, this gives you a huge number for a big molecule, a huge number of possible 3D structures. And these are called conformations. Um, here you have uh, three examples. And this number can uh, um, go up to, for a very uh, a big molecule, can be as high as 10 to the 300. And this, uh, can't, you can't find the structure now uh, by try and error. There's uh, just uh, too many combinations. But uh, these three pictures show you uh, how uh, green is the experimental results and blue is predictions from artificial intelligence I've evolved. Uh, you can see they match uh, very nicely. There's uh, very little exceptions like here. Um, the, uh, generally, the uh, prediction of AlphaFold was very accurate. And this is a great success and uh, will lead to uh, future uh, new generations of pharmaceutical compounds. And for comparison, the number of atoms in the universe is uh, 10 to the 78 uh, and to the 80. And that was today's video about artificial intelligence and my conversation with uh, ChatGPT. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.